the way we approach our dance, a meticulous approach to detail, a care about positions and preparations, pure classical ballet, but still open to different ways of moving. That spirit of pioneering and trendsetting is what sets Joffrey apart because they have the classical base, but it's a constantly evolving pioneering spirit that embraces the now. The Joffrey is a very special organization. It has a special and unique outlook on dance, one that is inclusive of all body types and one that is inclusive of all styles of ballet and contemporary dance. When the Joffrey asked me to create my own program, the program I designed for the kids here, I wished I'd had. I thought this was my opportunity to create that bridge for classical training into the contemporary world without throwing them into hip hop. What happens with a lot of classically trained dancers is the discipline is so precise that they get stuck, they get rigid, they get tight. You get really great classical dancers who can't release that and do contemporary work. So my main focus here is how do I really teach them that through the classical syllabus they can find flow and undulation and understand that ballet is the mother of all dance. From the moment they put their hand on the bar and they think they're just doing a ballet class, they have to connect to themselves and they have to become very conscious. Dance is very mindful, ballet in particular. You can't just move. You have to filter through an incredibly difficult discipline. I like strong thinking people. And I teach that as part of the technique. That happens later on a lot with choreographers, but if it's not brought to their attention when they're young, they don't get a chance to cultivate it. You think before you talk, so I want you to think before you dance. If you want to become a professional dancer, you have to commit 100%. You have to work hard every second that you're in class. There's no time to relax. You kind of have to allow this to become your life, and you have to stay dedicated, and there's no time to veer off course. In the very beginning, we're going to go from point A to point B in two weeks, that it's a staircase, and every day that they come back, they have to be on a new step, and that it's their job and responsibility to go over the corrections and the choreography they learned the day before so that we can build on that skill set. It is an environment that's gonna push them for excellence, it's gonna push them to the next level, but at the same time, it's a nurturing environment where we care. definitely takes guts. You're going to be told no plenty of times. You're going to be turned away plenty of times. The first time you're told no is really hard. It takes guts to look past that and to keep moving forward.